Tua. He's strong tonight. The action is underway. And South's looking for four straight wins. The Broncos looking to raise an effort. First 20 minutes going to be tough. Probably going to be the hardest 20 minutes we've had all year, eh? Coming off the back of a 38 0 win over the Bulldogs on Good Friday, South Sydney returned to their home turf to take on the struggling Brisbane Broncos outfit. With star 5'8 Cody Walker serving a one game suspension, South Sydney would be forced to blood another local junior in the shape of Dean Hawkins. That's got so many people saying. He's uh, had a lot of support, but again, he deserves it, you know. He's got a great group of mates that are going to be here tonight and whatever happens out there, we'll be cheering for him. Throwing around the back, Benji's going to score! Benji Marshall! Gagai now off of Marshall's pass, he's nearly into the backfield, Gagai through Reynolds! In support, scoots away to score. Oh, Two point field goal! He's got it! He's got it! of them, they've even made banners for the occasion. Young uh, Matraville products, and great to see you out there in the, the South Sydney red and green. South Sydney, far too good for the Broncos. It's been years in the making, ever since he was a kid, we knew it would be happening. It's been the hardest workout, and now it's early before training every time since we were kids, and it's good to see him out there living his dream, we're all stoked for him. On the eve of South Sydney's round six match with the West Tigers, Rabideau's forward Harme Saleh is given the opportunity to help support a cause, one that's very close to his heart. New South Wales Ambassador for Down Syndrome. I guess it was kind of a big thing growing up, having uh, my sister as the, I guess, the golden child in our family. Um, you know, we've always supported her. Um, she's always been the, the blessing to our family. She's pretty cool. Um, she's the funny one in the family. Um, everyone looks to her for jokes. Um, she's the big dancer as well in our family, so she gets along with everyone. She makes everyone laugh. Um, and yeah, brightens everyone up. It is a big, um, I guess, honour to have that support from everyone and the club. I'm super proud to become the ambassador for the Down Syndrome. Marshall skips away, Marshall skips away, Marshall's still going! Marshall's got Richards coming up outside! He's pushing 35 years old and we're very lucky to have him here at the club and I'm not sure how he didn't get picked up by anyone else earlier, but uh, we've got him and we love having him here. We're on our way. It's the Rabbitohs against the West Tigers. Talk about Benji Marshall, one of the favourite sons of the Tigers. How's he been this week? Has he fired up and has he been a wealth of knowledge about breaking down the Tigers today? No, I think he's been pretty good. Um, he's been, as usual, been, been a pest around the club. Um, <laughs> you know, he's, um, he's been giving it to Wayne a fair bit. I never thought he would be playing for South. Even a few weeks before the season started, I never thought he'd be playing for South. So but it just shows you how quickly things can change and how wild it is. Looks better in South colours, I think, yeah. <laughs> just want to thank all you boys. Uh, very grateful to, to pay 150 and obviously 150 for South Sydney. Uh, local junior coming through, it's a dream come true. So. I uh, just go out there tonight, boys. Rip in, maybe attack left a bit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I knit fingerless gloves here, and I knit um, beanies as well. And it's it's to stop the nerves during the game. And I just knit them. And um, during winter, when everyone's freezing to death, we, I just give them out. It just gives me something to do and stops the nerves from the game. So I'm very out there. 
But during the game, I'm very quiet because I'm knitting and I'm concentrating on what's going on. I've just got this horrible feeling that they've been going really well. And even though Cody's back, I don't want to get too confident. Wow, 30 plus tonight, 30 plus, 30 plus. Yeah, the Tigers last year took South all the way in their two contests. Beautiful pass to Murray, look at the space, then the step, oh goodbye. And South Sydney, they hit the go button. to answer, it's gone up on report. Shot yeah. pass! Absolutely gorgeous! It's in my entire life because I knit when I'm nervous and I was knitting so fast I made that many mistakes. I finished off one set of gloves, gave them both away and I've started on a beanie but I've got no voice left. I am just absolutely stuffed after that one. I don't know what they're like but I'm buggered. <laughs> after a Golden Point thriller, the team prepares for a Friday night blockbuster against the Gold Coast Titans but they'll need to do it without their star fullback, Latrell Mitchell. Wayne, can we start off with your reaction to Latrell's suspension? Oh, I know I've had a bit to say this morning. That's it. Moving on. Were you frustrated at the decision? Oh, look, I just said I'm moving on. We've got a game to play tomorrow night. We've all got to move on here, and that's what we're doing. For many of us, 
the annual Anzac Round fixture is one that holds a special place in a lot of our hearts. It's a time for us to commemorate and pay our respects to those that have fallen. Anzac Round's pretty special, especially a rugby league fan, but a veteran. 25 years service in the Australian Army and, uh, and proud service um, in the Army. Um, it, it's an honour to wear the flag on my arm. Here we are, underway on the Gold Coast. Rabbitohs in second place behind only the Panthers. Five and one record, five wins on the trot. Looking for six here tonight. Sometimes I get, you know, I get a little bit emotional because uh, you know, some things happened and we've lost incredible men um, that made that sacrifice. And, and um, it's not just about that day, it's about what it represents. Quickly from Sewer to Graham. Steps back on the inside of Taylor and just blows by him so easily. Rubbers, Paulo wants a bounce, he gets one. What a Rabbitohs try. Terrific attack. They found space. There were four guys that, um, that were lost on, uh, on my tour back in uh, 20, 2012. And I'll remember them you know, forever. And they were uh, just amazing individuals. And, uh, and I know that their families will be hurting uh, on days like this. And, uh, but also uh, knowing that what we did and uh, what they did was not in vain. Now Reynolds looking in. Marshall, Kalamatangi, back to Benji Marshall. 36 years of age, and there is no stopping him. Every day I think about them. Every day that, uh, um, that I go and serve, I do it not just for myself, but 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 um, in their memory. Off the top, Burgess. Murray, what a ball! Marshall up against Brimson, back on the inside. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. By wearing an item on their jersey, whether it be in the Rising Sun or in this year, the 100th year anniversary of the Air Force, that, that jersey that, uh, that we uh, are wearing this year um, is, uh, is very significant. Marshall, no look pass. Johnson's away again. Back on the inside, Marshall. Can you believe it? Benji Marshall, you are brilliant. I mean, what do you say? He's 36 years of age and he gets a chance the starting site tonight. Rugby League is, uh, is a special organisation and, and an amazing organisation to be able to uh, commemorate in, that, in such a way. The Rabbitohs though have come from 14 points down at the break to win this one by 10. In the build up to his side's trip to Canberra, Latrell Mitchell gave us a timely reminder that racism and online abuse is something that shouldn't be tolerated. It needs to stop. I just wanted to make it clear that you know this stuff that goes on on social media and, and in our public, it's it's it's, it's uncalled for, and it and, and I say no to it. I want it to stop. It only takes that one message for someone you know not as strong as me, you know, that can't take the you know, the criticism, and you know, for them to go and do some self harm. And that's all it takes is one word. And um, today I'm taking a stand on it. And um, I just want everyone out there to know that you know you can stand up for it too. And I just want to send a message out there that. You know, I thank you for the support I've, I've received over the last couple of days and um, you know, not a lot's gone my way and I just wanted to know and everyone to know that you know, I'm behind you and I'm setting the standard now that this is, this is not on and um, you know, if you see it, call it out. He's a great player and like, young kids are looking up to him and he's using that um, platform to promote you know, um, getting rid of racism. I think it's great what he's doing. We're all Indigenous and we're all cousins and uncles here so yeah, we definitely stand up for it and reckon it's a good thing what he's doing. Uh, for the Indigenous people. Um, it gains more confidence in the NRL for like, the rest of the players to gain some confidence and talk about like maybe their own problems or whatever else they're facing. So we teach our kids not to uh, get into that online bullying and stuff and if, and if it does happen to you, I suppose speak out like, like Mattel did. Speak, it's the only way you're going to put a stop to it. All is against the Raiders tonight. You look at the form charts and you'd have to say south by a margin here, but desperation does funny things to football teams. And
Thursday night footy from Canberra where the Raiders lead the Rabbitohs 16-14. They got the back pedaling Gagai in the corner. They just go right down that left edge. Target this time, Johnston. Are you under the touch one? They're coming at him. Oh, Kaloa Matangi through a massive gap. This will be a try to Sewer. Souths have hit full throttle now. Well, this is the versatility of Kalama Matangi because he was doing this down the left side of the field last week against the Gold Coast Titans. Very similar play. Full time Raiders have, uh, have been beaten here. On to next week and have a good win. Cheers. Four to twenty. See our Sydney the winners. start to the season for South Sydney, but it's set to go up another notch as the side prepares to take on the defending premiers, minus some key personnel. Well, I don't think Wayne will be too fond of me playing in the seven role, so I'll, I'll leave the team list to him, but um, hopefully I can whisper in his ear, Captain's run, Wayne, if anyone goes down, look, I'm happy to put my hand up, nine, seven or six. Joy Arrow, yeah, he must have been on something. <laughs> we have a challenge in front of us, and let's hope we're up for it.